future. Well, I'm joined now by Ian Sannard. He is the foreign exchange analyst for BNP Paribas. BNP Paribas, by the way, is the most accurate uh, foreign exchange forecaster in 2007 and 2008, according to our Bloomberg survey. Now, um, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, can I begin by asking just why, when Greece only represents about 2.6% of Europe's GDP, which is in some ways tiny, the effect is so much, is it in a way disproportionate? I, I don't think so. I think the, uh, the, uh, the fears with regards to the euro are very justified at the moment. As you mentioned, Greece is just a very tiny part of the, uh, the eurozone overall. But the increasing fear is now that we can start to see some contagion effects into other areas of uh, Europe. And the market has been focusing on Portugal and Spain, which have both been downgraded by S&P over the uh, past couple of days. So this is now really starting to intensify some of those fears that we could see some of the problems that have developed in Greece also starting to develop in some of the other uh, peripheral currencies of the eurozone. So Let's this is going to keep the euro very much under pressure. Let's look at Portugal. We are being told both with Portugal and Spain, um, largely of course by their own uh, government, that they've got very different issues. Do you think that Portugal particularly and also Spain really is that different from Greece? Well, I think uh, the underlying problems within the eurozone, I think, are uh, go sort of way beyond uh, some of the issues which are currently being focused on. The the main reason why we have these uh, problems and stresses within the eurozone it comes down to the uh, huge competitiveness gap which has developed within the eurozone since the introduction of the Europe, since the introduction of the euro. Now, this needs to be addressed over the longer term if we're going to stop these uh, kind of, of developments uh, reoccurring seeing this kind of stress within the financial system within Europe developing. So until that starts to be tackled over the longer term, I think the market is still going to be very cautious with regards to the euro over the longer term. The markets are looking for certainty and uh, the longer that uh, Germany prevaricates, the worse it is for the euro. Is that a fair assessment and will it be affected much when a bailout package, a credible bailout package is in place? Yeah, I think at the moment, uh, although we are starting to hear some more encouraging signs with regards to a, a package uh, for Greece, the euro is failing to gain any support from that. There are some suggestions now that, uh, that the, the uh, EU and IMF are fairly close to coming up with a three-year package. But this, again, does not start to address the underlying issues within the eurozone. So the euro, I think, is going to, going to be unimpressed by any very specific specific Greek aid package. I think that a much wider reform needs to take place and we need to see these underlying issues tackled before investors will start to regain confidence in the euro and European assets once again. So the overall picture, I think, is that we may see the euro rebounding slightly on the back of an announcement of an aid package for, for Greece, but this is likely to prove very short-lived and we would look for the euro to continue to come under pressure over the, over the course of the rest of this year and even going into 2011. Thank you very much indeed for joining us.